Hey, we're back with GeoGuessr, okay? I don't remember what uh, our shorthands were, but you know what? Let's get it started. We're playing duels. Uh, we're, we're back in low gold, by the way. I also just realized I do not have the casino active, so if you just give me a moment, start prediction. Will NL win this one? Yes, no. I can only give you 30 seconds because I have less than 30 seconds. We're going up against somebody with 856 ELO. That's very high relative to mine. Here we are. Um, we're in Europe. This looks like Italy or uh, Portugal to me or Greece. Italy. This looks like... Um, this confuses me. But I... Oh, no. There's a part of me that thinks this could be Romania, but I think I gotta go Italy. I mean, they just found it faster than me. I gotta give them... It just doesn't look right. Like, it doesn't look exactly like Italy. Okay, it's Malta. I'm glad to see my instincts are still there. It didn't... Now, if it's not... If it's Italy, but it's not Italy, it's either Romania or Malta or Albania, depending on license plates. This is, um... Well, you're gonna laugh. I was originally gonna say the United Kingdom. The foliage makes me think that's incorrect. I do feel like this is, uh, as of right now, I feel confident saying this is New Zealand, and I don't want to give my opponent any time. This looks like New Zealand to me. I mean, look, if th this is like a New Zealand advertisement. As long as you uh, cut out the part that said Quelch Road, which is just a disgusting name for a, a, a throughway. So we still kind of got bodied there. This person, they got good instincts too, okay? Um, right off the bat, this is North America. This looks North American to me. You can tell by the double lines in the road. I, know, I hate when people do this to me, but I do feel like this could easily be Canada. What the hell? Is that a person's hands? Speed limit 25? Okay, I would I would feel more comfortable guessing that this is the United States of America now. Ah, oh, son of a... I don't know what that license plate was. I feel like we're in, like, the Northeast. Can we put me, put me up here in, like, New Hampshire? I'm not feeling too bad. I mean, we, we have gone 0-3 on our first three guesses, but that was a, a pretty reasonable given the amount of information we had. We're just going up against a gamer. Hmm. Looks like Europe to me. It is Europe. Blue signs. Bus. 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 What the, what the, heck, what the heck are you saying? Holy cow. I don't see any soccer kit. Oh, dude, this is Finland. Or... Krylov? Krylov? Pandubis? Yuvali? Maybe this is Estonia? I mean, we, we could make up some, some gas on this one. The Sten bus from DHL. Okay, this is not... This is the... This is Czechia. Okay, this is... it. I was not even close. Just put me right here. Saved. <clears throat> I actually think this is Richmond right near the airport. Oh, baby! Uh, modest proposal for damage. Okay, now we got a heal on this one. I think they got a little cocky, honestly. This is Africa. There's no... There's a luggage rack, but no duct... There is duct tape. Duct tape equals Ghana. Place me near Accra. Zoom me out, please. Okay. Oh. It's, it's criminal that... For such a good guess, I barely made up any any progress. You gotta play the meta, man. If you don't know the meta, like, what are you doing? I'm scared this person's so good without knowing the meta. Spanish. That feels like a giveaway if you know what you're looking for. What is that, like a diplomat license plate? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Take me through the gate, please. Oh, dude, okay. Costa Rica! Universal de Costa Rica! It's an institution 
Benemetere de la Educación la Cultura. Okay, Costa Rica, right here. I mean, that's got to be in San Jose, right? Just put me right there. Just put me right, yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, good guess. Not helpful. This is not helpful. This match is brutal. So I mean, it's a good gamer. I think we are in Finland. No, this is Lithuania. We could tell from the blur. Put me in Countdown. Okay, you're a good guess. Oh no! We're alive. Finnish gamer spotted, by the way. How did he know that? I've eaten in that blur. Hmm. Uh, God, dude, if you're like, there should be an American league for this shit, okay? I don't know where this is. I think it's, I'm going to guess that it's in Hungary. Oh my God. But he's not just rushing me. Look, he was like a meter away. <clears throat> okay, this is just, honestly, I shouldn't be matched up against that person. They were 200 ELO points above me and they deserved it. I'm not saying they, like, I'm not necessarily salty I lost. I'm salty we had to play each other. Give me somebody that's on my level, please. Can I get someone that's maybe from the continental United States or Canada? Why is North America so rare? Europeans will tell you it's based on road density. But actually, I think it's just because the guy who made GeoGuessr is from, like, Lithuania. Okay, we're up against somebody with an Andy Kaufman avatar. This is Poland. See, I can play too. Is Rockta Warsaw in Pol- No, it's Rockclaw. Okay, I get it now. So, whatever. 191. We take those. It kind of looks like Singapore, which means it's Singapore. Which means CT CTE is the Singapore Highway. That's, you got to remember that. I told you. Loki had a med kit, a blast from a past. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Okay, this is not Iceland. This is like you, you do a, a quick check for Mongolia. I do not see a luggage rack. Look at the sun. Good luck. Um, I don't know. It's not Iceland, I can tell you that. I, I think we're in... I'm willing to stake my claim on this, that we're in like southern Argentina. Like I think we're around like, like here. <clears throat> Could have been worse, honestly. Oceans to the west? Bro, the oceans to the east and the west. Oh, uh, you mean in the picture, not on the map. That's fair. Something just screams uh, Romania to me on this one. That makes sense. I should look at the... I should have looked at the ocean side. That's something we could have done. <clears throat> gamers? Gamers? I, I didn't even look at the text. I don't trust the blur anymore. I feel like I'm just being rushed. I think this is somewhere uh, in this region, so I'm gonna take the western edge of Romania. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Don't rush me, Andy Kaufman. <clears throat> See Spanish, it's Romania. Well, it was actually Slovakia, so keep your green text in your pocket, Point Dexter. I think this is Spain. He's just trying to rush me. Honestly, he's got no endurance. Just place me in Spain. Good guess. Okay. That was French, not Spanish. Well, the important part is it was not Brazil. 
This is Taiwan. No, this is Southeast Asia. That is um, Indonesia or Malaysia. I'm going to take a bit of a guess on this one. Uh, you know what? That happened. They, they guessed near the capital. They don't need to copy me. Andy Kaufman is a true original. I would say the sun indicates we are in the northern hemisphere. This is not good. Um, it feels... If I had to guess, and I hope I don't, never mind, I hope I do. This is Poland. Sure, okay, good guess. We're, okay, Gdansk and Warsaw. We really want to be close on this one. Maybe we're somewhere around here. Split the difference. Oh! <laughs> Once we get into the endurance games, I'm feeling good. South America, obviously. Mountainous. First thing I think of is Bolivia. I look at some signs. I look at some license plates. I see some pare. Hmm. I, this is a big sign for me. Industrial project, maybe. Come on, man. There should be, I mean, if you can't figure this out, then you're as stupid as I am. This feels, A-M-B-A-T, I have no idea. I have no clue. I mean, I have many clues, I just can't narrow it. Whoa, <laughs> what the heck? There's kids here. She was wearing clothes, they were just the same color as her skin. Okay, to me, I, I mean, we're in the middle of the damn Andes right now. Probably. I need to learn something about South America. It really is, and, and I'm not saying it's justified at all, but it's a continent I know like nothing about. Except many of the countries are very good at soccer. Okay, I'm gonna say that we're in Lima, Peru. That's like my default guess when things get rough. Okay, I was thinking Ecuador and it was Ecuador and then you got me pretty good. We're, ah, we're freaking dead. Okay, good, gu good guess and good game. Good guess, good game. Start prediction. Will NL win this one? Road to Silver's back on. I thought I was so close to Plat, by the way. Did I get, like, ELO decay because I didn't play for a week? Yes? What, you got to play this every day? It just seems like a little much to me. It's a new season. Well, then why didn't they just take my ELO to freaking zero? Okay. This is... Everyone's ELO was normalized towards 500 a week ago. Don't do something. Just stand there. I was... I, I'm on the road to plat. Good game, Greg. Good game. You beat me fair and square. The only accusation of, of uh, 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 this is the uh, Peruvian or the Paraguayan flag. Put me in Lima. <laughs> what the hell? Look at my opponent, man. I'm going to jail. The only accusation came from me, which is how you know that you're in the clear. Because I was just salty. Okay. Obviously, it's Europe. Feels... Uh, Romania to me feels Romania man, but that could be Romania could be Albania could be Slovakia They could have a single bit of text on any sign 
That looks, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. That looks kind of Czech to me. I'm gonna take the southwestern part of, of Czechia. That was incorrect. It was Croatia, okay. Don't forget about the Croatian roofs. He is guessing Czechia. Okay, this is South Africa. Anytime it's Africa, but you see something that looks Dutch, it's a dead giveaway. Conca? Okay, I don't know how this happened. We've had one blowout on one end. We've had one blowout on the other end. And we had a fair match. But we'll take that one for sure. Paid actor? I think it was just like Fortnite. We probably just got paired with a bot. And honestly, I would love to keep that energy going. I would love to get paired with... Well, the, the dream is we get paired with people who are slightly worse than us and then just win every game. And then we feel like we've gotten better, but they weren't freebies. That's the dream for every game. Like, I think if you pay for this season pass in a... Um, in a competitive, like, game as a service... They should just pair you with free players who are worse than you every game. I would pay 20 bucks a season to only be matched against uh, people who are worse than me. That seems like an incredible value. I mean, this is... <clears throat> it's interesting. Well, I, I feel like there's a lot of information. It doesn't look like the part of South America we were just in for the last two guesses, which was Ecuador and Peru, I think. Looks a little more, um, I don't know, humid? There's a little bit more moisture here. Any information? This is, this only happens in Portuguese, right? The, the squiggle over the A. I apologize for not knowing the preferred linguistic terminology. So I feel like this is Brazil. Um, but I, I, I'm about 65% confident in that. Honestly, another thing that's kind of selling me on Brazil is the fact that this doesn't look like the parts of South America we usually get in the game. And Brazil is actually... Uh, there's a top-level domain. Brazil is actually kind of rare. It sounds crazy, but just because of the moisture content, I'm going a little bit more to the north, outside of the Tri-City area. It just looks moist here, you know? Okay, uh, they didn't guess. It's literally Sao Paulo, though. <laughs> you picked the Amazon rainforest? Yeah, you got a problem? I love the rainforest. I would pick the rainforest any day of the damn week. You don't like the rainforest? Kind of cringe, honestly. I think we are on a, a ferry. Or we are, we are at a ferry dock in a part of the world that is going to be illuminated for me via this payphone. Okay, that's a card phone. I think we're in a, a Black Sea port. I'm gonna say that it's the port of Varna, as long as the ocean is to the west. Or the north. Okay, I'm gonna change that slightly. I'm gonna move us to I don't trust it. I no longer trust it. It just doesn't feel right to me. Because I, well, like, I thought it would be, if that's Cyrillic, and it has to face the north, I mean, I, it's not Batumi, Georgia, let's put it that way. 
I'm pretty sure that shit ain't like St. Petersburg. So like, let's uh, let's take a look. Let's go in the other direction. By the way, I'm pretty sure our opponent is AFK anyway. Sightseeing drain, uh, train tour on the beach of Petra. Isn't Petra in um, Jordan? I think my North American is showing. Are you... <clears throat> Petra? The ancient... But isn't that... I thought Petra was like an ancient city that's in the desert or something like... I'm just seeing it. Like emotes in my peripheral vision fly by at top. Oh, okay. Um, we're in... We're in Greece. A Greek city that faces north. Could it be Petras? The lighthouse of Petras, perhaps? Am I great? Was Petra in Jordan? I thought it was. It's, you know it from Civ 5? Oh, man. What the hell? Well... 153. They're, I mean, they're AFK. We're literally just going to like end their game and then refund the bet. I apologize to you for that, but it is what it is. Let's let's just guess, man. Let's just guess on this one. If I had to guess and I do, to me, you're going to laugh, but I genuinely think this is like the Federated States of Micronesia. It's Greece? I don't think so. I don't see enough blue and white roof tiles. All right, that was Greece. No, wait. Okay, yeah, it was Greece. All right, we still got him by one. I'm not clip farming. I thought it was the Federated States of Micronesia. South America or Arizona in like two years. Um, okay, these are not Brazilian signs, and let's be honest, it looks dry as hell. Are we in the Southern Hemisphere? Yes. I would immediately say, you know what? Put us in Tacna. This is Tatooine. This bit was good. It's not a bit. Stop saying it was a bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. We're I'm I'm telling you, by the way, we're refunding the bet. They were not there. You know how insulting it is? To make a bad guess based on limited information and have people say nice bit. I'm not even a streamer anymore. I basically just administer like a digital casino with no benefits. I have to be steady and do my best. Sometimes my best is better than others and sometimes is worse than myself. But I'm never like throwing a guess on purpose. I'm never just throwing a guess as a bit. I don't even know what a bit is with your witty little bits. Maybe I'll tell a joke from time to time. Like the old tale of the bunny stealing dinner from the mailbox. But I don't do bits. Hold on. Apteka. We're in Poland. I was going to say Greece. Okay, good guess. Uh, Lods. We guessed the exact same place. He's going to think I'm a stream sniper. Polish Ludwig be like... Lords, today. <laughs> Sorry, I just you know we're playing Geo. It fits because it kind of sounds like lads. Okay, RV. That means we're in Czechia. Put me just outside of Prague. I don't do bits. That wasn't a bit. That was just like a what if this happened. It would be kind of funny, right? It's not a bit. You know what I was thinking is that when you really think about it, sketch comedy 
is really just like like Saturday Night Live is just 90 minutes of them going, what if this happened? Wouldn't that be funny? What if there was a guy uh, dressed in a Halloween tuxedo that ran a nightclub where people did some weird dances and then he said, any questions? And what if he was played by Tom Hanks? Like that's all Saturday Night Live is. What if the president said some jokes during the State of the Union? What if Kate McKinnon sang Hallelujah dressed as Hillary Clinton? It's just a big what if, man. I think we're in Portugal. This looks like Portugal to me. I'm going to guess that we're in Portugal. Sure, I'll take that. All things considered, I think that was pretty good. It's Survivor Night, by the way. So true. This is Singapore. I'm, I, I look forward to Survivor Night so much, man. Are you Singapore? Mm, could still be Singapore. Does that say CTE? KG? Wait. That's still Singapore. The signs are, are so similar. I forgot where Singapore is. It's right there. I got scared for a second there. <laughs> oh, man. Don't bat chest my friend Ryan. Dude, Jay, we're just on... The, look, some people watch Survivor for like 23 years straight. More power to them. But I genuinely think I'm like ahead of the curve on Survivor coming back into uh, fashion. And I, I mean it sincerely. I'm never going to know where this is, but it's so damn dry. Let, give me northern Argentina, like right here. The reason I say that is because every show that's still on television, but also on Netflix now, is, uh, is just reality TV, but done worse. Like, you can't eat... Like I, I was watching the Food Network yesterday. First off, I had to turn off the Food Network because I was watching a little TV with my daughter and they were playing, like, ads for online casinos and stuff like that. I was just like, you know, she's literally 19 months old. This has got to be New Zealand. Um... But, I, like, I'm not saying she's gonna, she knows what it is, but I don't want her to be, like, dazzled by the lights and have it make, like, an impression on her brain or something like that, right? But then also, like, I don't mind Chopped, I don't mind Cutthroat Kitchen. But every other show is, like, you know, the ultimate food truck race. Chefs from around the world drive their food trucks. They have to throw a spear to determine what protein they'll use in the ultimate cetacean cook-off and i'm like it just i just want to see some recipes or something like the ultimate barbecue backyard brawl all the best barbecue chefs from the southwest of the united states of america come together and roll the dice to determine what meat they're gonna cook and it's just that's romania or poland i'm going in man it's just too much so i kind of appreciate survivor for, for two reasons that sound weird, if you would ask someone, like, you know, like, if you told someone this 10 years ago, they would be like, you're stupid. One reason is because it's reality TV, but it seems like there's actually some effort put into it, which is extremely rare. And then another one is that it's only on once a week, which keeps the show in the public consciousness. Instead of, like, when you turn on the Food Network, they're like, oh, you don't like, um barbecue brawl well guess what there's literally eight hours of it in a row and then one episode of like you got to eat here uh an hour of diners drive-ins and dives and then another 12 straight hours of barbecue brawl I'll, i got nothing but respect for the amazing race as well no disrespect for my amazing race but I, I think like the 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 cultural lens as netflix in particular, descends further and further into... I don't believe this is Nova Scotia, but I could be wrong. I believe that it's Nova Scotia. <laughs> this is a very Canadian thing to do. 
Scotia Optical. Lasting image. I don't know the... Okay, well, no, we're both on the same page on that one. It's actually Manitoba. Either way. I'm just saying, I think people may come back. Not, not like... I don't think they're going to re-get cable if they already cut their cable. Because that's just... I mean, it's just a bad use of your money. But if you still have cable and you're choosing with your time what you're going to watch, I think this is uh, Sri Lanka. No, this is Bangladesh. Because we can tell from the script. I think Survivor will almost... It, it has a chance to come back into fashion as a... Uh, as a like a, a quainter sort of like water cooler cultural experience instead of the way that uh, content works right now where like half the people that watch a show watch all 10 episodes of it the second it comes out and then the other half of the population watches it four years later and you never get to talk about it with anybody because of the fact that you've forgotten everything that happened because you've watched like 20 other shows in the meantime that's that's my two cents Just chill. I was gonna go straight for Malaysia or Indonesia, but we don't know that. I feel reasonably confident, but I don't know it. Okay, I'm gonna guess um, Malaysia, but close to Indonesia. I feel like I should have guessed Indonesia close to Indonesia. We lost that one. Like, I... First off, we're paying out the doubters. I understand why... Because I, I did the same, you know? When Netflix first came out and it had, you know, first mover advantage, it had every show in the world uh, on it, you're like, why would I watch Survivor? Survivor is, you know, it's been running for 15 years. It's the same shit every year. The Honorable Sniper. Here we go. Now I'm like, well, Netflix has gotten worse over the past, uh, maybe not over the past decade, but certainly over the past like two or three years. They're emulating the worst parts of, like they're not emulating CBS. Now they're emulating like, uh, like the History Channel. Oh no. You remember what Ludwig told me? Never guess Uganda. Guess Northern South Africa. Holy cow! It's Australia. No Miyazaki, I don't want to go to Kaled. Anyway, the other thing <clears throat> is that, like, it's just a fun show. Like, when people are like, Survivor's everything wrong with network TV, I'm like, are you a time traveler? I mean, this is the Northern Hemisphere. I'm gonna guess this is probably, like, Finland. Like, are you literally here from, like, the year 2001 to complain about Survivor? Have you turned on your television lately? Norwegian roads? Holy cow, they're going fast. Put me in southern Norway. I mean, why are you... Come on. Why? You're just you're you're playing too fast for no reason. <clears throat> Anybody else being uh, human trafficked right now, or just me? I'm gonna say we're in uh, Germany. <laughs> okay. Something was not right about that one. And moving on. Did, honestly, did somebody kidnap the Google car? This looks like Mongolia to me. But they're not, there's no luggage rack. I would say not Mongolia. I don't know. I'm gonna say Kyrgyzstan, but I'm not confident. Okay, I mean, I hate to be this guy if you're listening. 
My guess was not amazing, but Peru was like an absolute throw. We're in Jamaica? Peru? I'm not saying I've never made a guess that bad, but this looks like Serbia to me. I'm not willing to send it immediately. It doesn't look like Serbia, but it looks like a country near Serbia. Maybe, maybe Montenegro. Maybe the uh, eastern edge of Croatia. This guy has no chill. Yeah, but at least um, that let us play long enough to end up on Speed Lube. Speed Lube is pretty funny. I don't think it's as funny as the fact that in Canada we have a chain of oil change facilities called Mr. Lube. Okay, so it says San Jose. If we have to, we can guess Costa Rica. I'd really rather not. But this does look like it could be South or Central American. Banco Azteca? Okay, I'm willing to I'm willing to throw caution to the wind, put myself in San Jose. It's in Guatemala. Let's go! Mr. Lube doesn't miss. Mr. Lube and Jiffy Lube send their regards. Anyway, the other thing about Survivor is that it's literally like an hour a week. Like, who has time in their life to be a Survivor hater? Probably a lot of people watching this, to be fair. The OMG, it's me. Eschenbach? Schmericon. I'm from Schmerica. Isn't that weird? Maybe like Liechtenstein? Maybe like Switzerland? Maybe like Liechtenstein. Zurich is 54 kilometers away. And Lucerne is 76 kilometers away. Maybe we're up here near like the Schaffhausen. Didn't run the casino this time. That's fine. We'll have to. We'll, we'll run it after. Nice. Sixty-nine points. I'm missing every single prediction. This is absurd. Please, could we have more time? Do you mean you're missing it? This feels like Hungary to me. You're missing it, like you're getting it wrong, or you're missing it. Uh, no, we're in Lithuania. Like you don't have enough time. This is Lithuania, Latvia. It looks more Hungarian to me, which makes me think that this is the capital city of Lithuania. Put me straight in downtown Vilnius. Well, okay, great minds think alike. Don't have enough time. The problem is if I make it a minute long, you get to see the first guess, which can play a serious role. This is Japan. Family Mart. Bad chest. No, and you can bad chest it. Oh, wait, this is uh, Taiwan. <laughs> you can bad chest it all you want. We can come back from this. But convenience stores, this is Bhutan, by the way. You don't even need to think about it. Convenience stores in Asia are so much better than convenience stores in North America that it almost makes me mad when I'm in uh, a, like a Canadian 7-Eleven. I'm like, why are you so ass? When like in Japan, you could get like actually good food. It just doesn't make sense to me. Same for McDonald's. Some truth to that, I suppose. I have no idea, man. Um, put me in Botswana. Put me in Eswatini. I meant put me in Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> Whoops. 
Sí. I'm thinking, okay? Doesn't mean we're in Europe. It could be a project that's... Uh, I think we're in... I don't know. You know what? It's a big mountain. I'm scared. Um, It looks Spanish. I don't know. Put me in Spain. Where's the mountains? I don't know. Whatever. We're amazing. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Like, you gotta remember that North American... Gas stations and convenience stores are so bad that you get excited when one of them has a subway inside of it. You're like, holy cow, finally, some edible food. This is a weird one. I, this doesn't feel like Switzerland to me. Even though that says S-Bank. Bayeres? Bayeres? It's not Spanish. I don't know why I said it like that. It's definitely like some combination. You know what? Bell Vol? Do you think that could be like, you know, Belgium's um, volleyball turn? I think we're in Belgium, Luxembourg. Put me there. Oh! <laughs> I would say it was like a little off. I thought maybe it was Luxembourg, but then I saw Bell and I thought, let's take it back to Belgium a little bit. The gas station gave it away. It had a Q and an 8. Kuwait. I'll remember that for next time. Strat. Esser Strat. We're in... Isn't Strat like, what? Isn't that like Danish for street? Attention. Hamelberg with Tassera. There's, is, am I crazy? There's 18 different languages on the screen. Banco de Caribe. Curacao, dude. Now, here's the next question. Where the fuck is Curacao? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, I legitimately was losing my mind. I was like, it, there's Dutch, there's Spanish. It looks like we're in South America. In hindsight, everything obviously, if you're working backwards, you're like, yeah, obviously this points to Curacao, but. My God. Losing my sight, losing my mind. Okay, start another prediction. That would have been a nice one to have believers, but. <clears throat> Where did all the rank go? Oh, I regret to inform you, I've been the subject of. Uh, ELO normalization because I didn't play the game for a week. Okay, we're going up against somebody with a Fortnite avatar. It's because it's a new season. Yeah, but I want to be the victim. I feel like we're in... Well, don't guess yet. Do we have a follow car? I would say no. But that does kind of look like a Tunisian license plate. Can I get up on this road just by like hopping the hopping the curb? Just gonna hop the curb. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, obviously it's Tunisia or Jordan or the United Arab Emirates. I guess we're just going to drive for a bit. I'm worried my opponent's gone AFK. I will say, this morning, I took a 2000s rock ride on the Peloton. I feel like I'm kind of off my game because I was forced to listen to a Three Doors Down song this morning. And not only was it... A th First off, it was not Kryptonite, which is what I would consider to be like... Just put me in Jordan. Split the difference. Don't lose on this one. I, that is a much better guess because it's actually closer, but at least I'm not dead. I'm, I guess I should be thankful that it's not uh, 
here without you. This is New Zealand, man. It was um, when I'm gone. Just kind of like a nothing burger. No, this is Norway, dude. Wait, hold on. I gotta get your head in the game. We're in the Northern Hemisphere. This is damn Norway. Or like the Faroe Islands. You know what? It was Northern Iceland. Well, I'm glad I didn't go Norway at least. That got us some points back. We'll take it. But I was also kind of embarrassed because I was like, first off, 2000s rock that was being played here. This is Sweden. Slash Denmark. Where's the E18? I never get the banter, man. I want to talk about bowling for soups, the girl all the bad guys want. And I, I wonder, like, in my brain, why, like, on a logical level, I know these songs are bad, and yet I, uh, f because I heard them, like, between the ages of, like, 12 and 16, they're permanently locked in, like, a nostalgia hole in my brain. Don't talk shit about Bowling for Soup. It's just not like, it's not a noteworthy song, okay? Bowling for Soup has, has some better jams, probably. I like how it just has K in parentheses. It's like they, they accept it, okay? Look, we could be in Africa. Look at your car. There's a little snorkel on it. There's a little snorkel on it. That means we're in Kenya. Just send it. Oh, tough luck, baby. There's two snorkels. I forget what they're called. One of them is called like Gulper. The other one's like Chonky or something. Is why why guess so fast? I mean, I, if I were me, and I am, I would think that we're in, like, southern Poland. Okay, it was honestly, like, a really good guess. Close game. This is... This is scary. I was so close to just guessing Italy, and I'm, I'm very glad I didn't. Does that car say Gabagool? This is South Africa? Yeah, that seems right. South Africa? But it's Spain. But what country uses R as their currency? The South African Rand? This is not South Africa. This is a country in South America. Use your brain. R. Octagonal <clears throat> Cruzeiro Novo. I don't want to be on this road. I can't even handle a roundabout. Please. More science. Brazil. Okay. Thank you. Brazil. Note to self. Brazil uses... Is it called the Real? By the way, nice. Oh, they guessed right on top of me. I thought they guessed right on top of the guess. They don't use rubles. Must be called Brazilian. Oh, that's Gothenburg. Okay, hold on. We're in we're in damn Sweden right here. They use reals. Keeping it real. Is that a town called Heisenberg? I've been there. Well, congratulations. We're in Italy. Hey, hey, Swedes. What up now, Swedes? Woo! How does it make you feel that uh, Henrik and Daniel Sedin came from Sweden to Vancouver at the age of like 19 years old? And then made a life here and chose to stay here after they retired. 
They chose Vancouver over Hammersvik. It couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I'd be so embarrassed. We're in the northern hemisphere. Get owned. Get owned. Nobody's responding. Many Swedes are typing right now. I'm just waiting for it. You mean because they don't want to pay taxes? Bro, they would just move to Tampa Bay if they didn't want to pay taxes. Obviously, they're staying in Vancouver because they don't want to move their kids' schools. They've already created a life for themselves here, and they want to pay less taxes than they would in Sweden. No taxes, they would just move to Austin like all the streamers. Okay, hold on. Northern Hemisphere, for sure. But, like, I feel like this is... Asia? After my nanities and it is through, I'll run to you. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what? This could be like northern Kenya, like just north of the equator. I take it. Oh no, that's horrendous! All right, well we lose that one. Asia, though, an incredible song. Um, by, I was going to say Def Leppard, embarrassingly enough, by Steely Dan. Track two off of this, the same titled album. Great album as well. Absolutely true. Spot the lie. Oh, wait, you can't because there isn't one. Just got here. Are you plat yet? Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? I've been the subject of ELO normalization. As unfair as that is, they just try to keep me down. Okay, we're up against Ben. Old Ben Kenobi, of course I know him, he's me. I don't think I'm in ELO hell, honestly. I think I'm just kind of playing like ass. This is Ireland or England. A sign, please. I, right now, I'm thinking Ireland. Like this. Tight roads. Cars parked on a one lane street. I'm thinking it's Jersey. Dunboyne community. That could be anywhere in an English speaking country on earth. I'm going to Dunboyne. Dun, Dun sounds more Irish to me. Put me in Newbridge. Yo, my mistake. We were closer to Bellbridge, but still pretty good. I was at the wrong bridge. This is Portugal. What the heck was that move? Did you see? What the hell? I'm... Am I driving like a quadcopter? Panton Park. Panton Road Park. I gotta be honest, I'm getting kind of a New Zealand vibe from this. But I'm also getting kind of an Australian vibe from this. The countries are so different, it's surprising to me that I'm getting both of those. A sign, perhaps? Could I see a Sainsbury's? This this could be helpful. Unless I go too far. Muizenberg? On the M5. And Grassy Park and Parkwood. I mean... It's a South African looking sign. And Muizenberg kind of sounds... Afrikaans. But there's so much English. M5? I'm seeing a lot of R's and A's. You got any M roads? You're just numbers. How about uh, Tasmania? Seen a lot of C's. How about the the British Islands? Also, there they are. Okay. Not not even close. Okay. Um, 
you know what I'm thinking? How about Botswana? A's. How about Eswatini? M's. Okay. But those are MRs. An MRRL time. And how about Lizutu? Those are A's. Okay. I mean, I don't necessarily think this is Lizutu or Eswatini, but like it feels a lot more like Australia, <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Or does it? Or does it? I am. Wait, okay. M5. Milnerton and Moisenberg. These signs are so South African, dude. Nothing, though. But Lime Acres? I mean, this sounds like... It sounds like what we're looking at. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. Can I, look at the, can I get a hemispherical with you? We should be in the Southern Hemisphere. That is not really that helpful now that I think about it. This one better be a strange guess. Because if it ends up just being normal, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Okay, I'm sending it. I have no idea. Southfield and Elvendale. Moisenberg Grassy Park. I'm not saying anything right now. I'm not saying anything. Just a little surprise that I'm like the first guesser in that one when there was so much time and then we both guessed like the same thing. That's all I'm saying. This is um, a country that I'm not going to name in case you're playing audio only. I would just like the, the other gamer to make the first guess this time. It's possible they're just a slow player. Maybe they're a little idiosyncratic. It's been known to happen before. Okay. I say nothing because I know nothing. Wow, what a coincidence. We didn't mention where we were, and all of a sudden, we got our, our first successful guess. The boat is sinking. That's a problem. We're on a boat. We're in the southern hemisphere on our boat. This is a tough one. I feel like we're not going to get anything here. Hi. I have no idea. I I don't even want to I I can't glance at chat. I'm sure people are like I've eaten on this river. I don't think we're going to see anything, and that scares the crap out of me. It's like, how much do I trust that we're in the Southern Hemisphere? Because the sun is, like, close to directly overhead. And it does look like, like, from a foliage standpoint, it looks like this could be the Southern Hemisphere. I mean, this looks kind of, like, New Zealandish to me. Maybe we're on, like, you know, we're near Ben Oahu. Not at all. No shot. This is Florida. I don't know. My other guess was going to be like Botswana. <clears throat> wow. Um, so that was Limerick, Ireland. This is more my kind of guess right here. This is um, this is Dubai. That's a, just a crazy guess, man. Ireland. Never would have thought. Put me right there. 
He's urban pilled. That's me. I'm urban pilled. If you place me in an urban environment, I know exactly where we are. It has nothing to do with the density of information. It's just the kind of guy I am. Abu <laughs> Dhabi, come on. Oh, are you even trying? It's Northern Hemisphere, Europe. It's, uh, it's Belgium. It's Poland. It's a jackal. It's a jackal. I could read this sign. I could read anything. I put my mind to. Mm, it's Cyrillic. I thought I saw a .hu there, which would indicate that we're in a country with humans by the name of Hungary. But I, don't, I can't say for certain because we're using a, a Nikon Coolpix from the year 2004 to take these photos. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say Hungary. I'm going to say wait, no, Hungary doesn't use Cyrillic. I'm going to hedge my bets and place us in Ukraine. Okay. Good bet hedge at the very least. I had one in high school. I'm, I mean, I was going to say I'm a little jealous, but I'm not like a photo taker. I don't take a lot of photos to begin with. But in high school, we were still using those like instant Kodak cameras that you just get like 20 photos on them. Then you take them to Walmart to get the film developed or Loblaws. Sweden. Quick, sir. Who won the World Hockey Championships this year? The joke is, I don't know. But if he knows who won the World Hockey Championships, he's probably Swedish because uh, they never win the Olympics. So they have to concern themselves with competitions that don't pair the best on best. They only pair the people who uh, were in the NHL but didn't actually get to make the playoffs. If he knows the answer, we're in Sweden. It's just that easy. Mm, but that does not look Swedish. That looks more like Estonian. Lithuanian? Latvian? Sweden. Iceland. Sweden? Denmark. No. This, the O. Wait, did that say AB? Hold on. Does that change it? I, when I think of AB, it's like the GmbH of Sweden. It denotes that this is a Swedish corporation. AB. But I think AB also applies to other... Help. Is that SE? I think it applies to other Baltic countries is what I was going to say. Sir, what's your top level domain? SE, let's go! They know who won the World Hockey Championship. Okay. Put me... I don't know, dude. Put me in Ouroboros. Stockholm. You know the Olympics aren't best on best either? Well, I know that in 2002, Sweden sent their best athletes to the Olympics and then they lost to Belarus in the quarterfinals. Because <laughs> the shot went in off of Tommy Salo's damn helmet. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Think about this. Think about this for a second. This is check. It's Ghana. Huge, huge duct tape check. Got my head back in the game. We're back, baby. <clears throat> then they won gold in 2006. Yeah, but no one cares about the tour in Olympics, man. People only care about Salt Lake City 2002, Vancouver 2010, and Sochi 2014. Everybody knows that. Are you... This is Finland, right? Are you the Finnish flag? Hey, good idea. Hey, let's put a big flagpole out of our house. Um, But Uwe, there's no wind in this country. I don't know if that's true. I'm just a little salty right now. That It could always just be the flag of a duchy or something. Okay, this... 
I would feel comfortable saying that this is Finland. He's insane with it. That you can't get impatient in GeoGuessr. You get impatient in GeoGuessr, you lose, man. Why are you hating on Sweden today? I don't know, okay? Oh, I didn't even run the casino. I don't know. I just woke up and chose violence for some reason. Truth be told, Sweden is my favorite Nordic country. Boo hiss, because it's the only one I've been to. Boo hiss. Why are you bullying me? Iceland? Is Iceland Nordic? I get it confused. Check your car. We have a luggage rack? Bro, this is... This is Mongolia. 100%. Or Kyrgyzstan. Mongolia. Let's go. Iceland is Nordic? It's in the north? Well, I guess I live in a Nordic country then. Mm, Canada. Ah, yes, I live in a Nordic part of the world. San Antonio, Texas, United States of America. Western Australia, max speeds. You try to trick me? Don't think so. Great start. Big plays. You're sniping that other guy? He's getting impatient, man. And I am reaping all the benefits. He's losing his mind. I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't tell you where we are. The sun would indicate the southern hemisphere, but it's hard to tell because it's a very windy road. Okay, let's go this way. We're driving on the right side of the road. So not Australia. Could it? It could. I know I said Southern Hemisphere, but a blurred sign makes me think it could be Lithuania. And maybe the sun is just lying to us or maybe I'm lying to myself. Hold on. Let's take another peek. I Honestly, I think we are in the Northern Hemisphere. I told you the road was windy. I gotta hand it to this gamer. I thought they would guess fast. This looks like Lithuania to me, man. I thought they would guess fast, but actually they're they're holding their own. <clears throat> Insane guess. Okay. I think it's the first Baltic country we got right. Tunisia? No, blue license plate. This is Senegal. Orange money is Senegal and then confirmed by the rifts in the sky. St. Louis? We got a new South Cincinnati? Interesting. You know, it's crazy. When something looks like America, I never think it's America in GeoGuessr duels because it shows up so rarely. And I think I was absolutely correct to think that because what the heck is this? Season clearance, Echo Grass Trimmers, Bobcat Zero Turns. Fergus Elora. This is... um. No, this is North America. I just don't know where. I'm going to be honest. I, I know I hate when people do this, but I don't get the chance to do it that much because I don't live in Finland. This kind of looks like Canada. Wait a minute. Is this a, a Century 21 mailbox? Not a Century 21. Just a mailbox. I don't even know why I'm trying so hard to guess because like... I have 6,000 anyway. I guess it's, you know, we want to stay warm. You want to, it's the principle. We are in Canada. Holy cow. Okay. I was thinking Fergus sort of sounds like, like I could imagine Fergus being in Ontario. 
and it kind of looks Ontarian. Mount Forest, Highway 89 West. I mean, calling this a highway is a bit of a stretch, personally. I do see a lot of Chevy Silverados. It moves me more towards the prairies, but I mean, people, they, they do work everywhere, man. The truck doesn't necessarily indicate that much. Can I, can I read the sign? Drinking water protection zone. Okay, if you guys, if you need to stay hydrated, I know the perfect place for you. Mount Forest. High, healthy, and happy. It's a great motto. Words to live by. Anybody else living by the three H's right now? Smile is the light in the window of your soul. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so we are in Ontario. The OPP won't let me be. Y'all down with OPP? I'm just having fun now. Highway 89 in Ontario. Okay, I mean, we could at least... You're going to guess, then that's fine. I honestly have no idea where this is. Highway 89. But, oh, you know what? It's right there. There is literally right there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Incredible. I was gonna, you don't go north in Ontario unless you see the world's largest nickel. The vast majority of the population lives in the south, but that's true for Canada in general. Okay, honestly, like... That, it, it, that could be Lithuanian for all I know. There was a blur. I try not to read too much into the blur because we've been burned on it a few times. I feel like this also... I mean, I'm still leaning Lithuania, to be honest, but I feel like there's a certain uh, Czechia component. Give a top level domain. Oh! His instincts are finely tuned! 1.4 kilometers? Pure luck. Pure luck. I don't buy it. Or they're from... I'm playing against, like, Thomas Vanek right now. Can I get a quick check? This is the Netherlands. Uh, can I get a quick check? Is, is Thomas Vanek from Czechia? Quick check. Thomas Vanek. Thomas Vanek check. No, he's not. He's from Austria? He's got to be the most successful Austrian hockey player of all time. This is American Samoa. Now, here's the problem. I don't know where the hell that is. <laughs> and we go through this a lot. Is it one of the marshals? American Samoa! No! <laughs> what? You were closer? That was just Samoa! That hurt me. I clicked on the wrong Samoa. He is the most decorated Austrian hockey player of all time. Michael Grabner is second. Didn't Michael Grabner play for the Canucks too? We had Thomas Vanek. We had uh, we had Michael Grabner. I know he played for the Islanders for a while. We got it like Vancouver welcomes the Swedish hockey players and the Austrian hockey players with open arms. I don't have a guess. I have no guess. I don't even know what hemisphere we're in. Give me Northern South Africa. I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> it's the Philippines, we're dead. No, it's Vietnam, we're, it's Cambodia, we're dead, we died. Well, that did not go well. I was not paying attention to be honest with you. 
What was that guess? I was thinking about Michael Grabner. He had like a 95 uh, speed rating in NHL 12. 